All right, how y'all doing out there? This is Pete over at DIY Auto School, and we're going to be doing a review on a certain type of spray gun. And what that is, it's a low volume, low pressure spray gun. Now, basically, we're going to go ahead and call this a pressure pot because that's exactly what it is. It's a miniature pressure pot spray gun. But what this is designed for is very super thick type of paint. And what I'm talking about, I'm talking about a product such as this, and this is the product that we're going to be spraying. This is called Feather Fill. And what this is, it's super thick. It's not just a filler, okay, but it gets super hard. It's a polyester primer. It's guaranteed no shrink. Goes on very thick. And it's one of the leading sellers as far as super duper filler primer goes. This is not a spray on Bondo. This is a primer, all right? But on the other hand, if you're using a product like, let's say, Slick Sand, all right, you can use this spray gun for that. Now, the reason I recommend a gun like this is because you don't want to take your $1,000 spray gun and spray this type of material in it. And I'm going to tell you why. This has a 30-minute pot life. If you don't spray your product and you might be spraying a whole car, or a boat. This was this here came out. This was originally designed for fiberglass. Old fiberglass didn't have good gel coat on it. So over the years, the gel coat would wear off, and then it'd be down to what, Manny? Fiberglass. Raw fiberglass. So Evercoat came out of the product called Featherfill that you use fiberglass resin, this is the hardener that you use. Anytime you use a product with this type of a hardener that's sprayable, you got minimal, minimal time. This gun costs $20. If I don't get done in time with it, and I have to throw that gun away, because once it hardens up in your gun, you can't clean it. It's over. So that's why we're turning to this, this alternative, which is a $20 low volume, low pressure spray gun, which is basically a pressure pot. I'm going to show you how that works. Okay. And this is what we want to use when using a product like this or spray on Bondo or slick sand or any other type of a product that requires a super fast hardener. Now most of the primers you use are going to look like this. And it's going to have a hardener like this. And the pot life on this is going to be several hours, maybe six hours, four hours. Okay, hang on a minute. What? When you're saying pot life, what exactly are you meaning? What I'm that? saying is when you take this primer and mix it in his cup, and you put that hardener in there, and it is active, you see, active primer. So it's starting to count down before that's, it gets that's hard. That's right. Once you mix those two together, bam. It, you start the count. You've got 30 minutes to use that, or your gun is ruined. Another thing is that people don't understand when using a product like this, this is what you use to clean your gun out, not lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner will clean the gun out, but it takes a very, very long time to actually penetrate and dissolve the chemicals using this type of a hardener. So you're probably going to leave a residue in You'll there. You'll leave a residue in there. It'll in be there. on your spray needles, in your nozzle. And that's why we're going back to this. It's a throwaway gun. For $20, we don't care. So we got the acetone, we got the primer. Let me get back to this. This is your regular ultra high build 2K primer. This is what you would normally use when you are painting a car and putting primer on it to block sand. All right? And your pot life on this is approximately four to six hours.
what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the paint booth and we're going to look and I'm going to show you the type of material that we're going to use in our Centro Pneumatic 33 ounce low volume low pressure spray gun. And I guess you already speculated that this is going to be a good review. But I still wanted to bring this product out and I want to show it to you because it's well worth $20. Let me ask you this question. What about rhino liner? Would that gun be good for a rhino no. liner type gun situation? Nope. This is only for a sprayable liquid product like this. Ah. Okay, it takes a different type of spray gun to spray a very thick product like that. Okay. It's a good question, but the answer is no. I'm sorry. All right, so what we're looking at here, this is an old, I would say circa 1970s drag bike fender that's made out of fiberglass. Now, it took many all day long to sand this fender. You can see there's no gel coat left on it. All right, it's pretty much gone. That's how they made stuff back then. It wasn't really high quality, and um, it was just old school type fiberglass molds. So what this product that we're using will do is it will create and seal that fiberglass and it won't suck in and shrink and it will, uh, it will hold its retention. So by using a product like that, you got to have the right spray gun to use it as. Now what we're going to do on this piece, I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of uh, leftover primer on this. Okay, this goes to another car, but I want to show you that it could it'll work on metal or fiberglass. If we come over here, here's our product that I sprayed. Now, I sprayed this product approximately 30 minutes ago, and you can see, look at this. Wow. Okay. Now this is not sandable ready primer, but take a look at this, and you can see what it used to look like right there. And this is three coats of that thick, thick filler primer that we're going to be spraying. So then you do the body work on top of that? Then you would block this down and do your body work and then go from there. But that's not, we're not making a video about this. What we're making a video about is the spray gun that it takes to use to spray this product. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the box over here for now. Not that we're throwing it away, just get it out of the way. And then we're going to go over the spray gun. So if we look at our spray gun, what you're looking at here, it looks like a typical spray gun without an air passageway. A uh, typical siphon spray gun, <clears throat> and this would be your regular siphon gun. And you can see the little air bleeder here. All right, But if you notice, this one doesn't have one because this, actually when you plug it in, it creates pressure. And it pressurizes the pot. And the way that you adjust this is this little bleeder screw right here. All right. Now you use this gun between uh, 20 to 55 PSI. I set mine at 55 and then I basically set the gun uh, where it's almost all the way open but I turn it in two and a half turns. So when you open up your spray gun and you can see I've already used this one you can see that uh, it's, it's an airtight seal gun okay and one more thing about this gun is like I said, I'm going to go ahead and repeat myself, when you're using this type of a product, this is what this spray gun's for, and you don't clean it quick enough and you have to throw it away, who cares? Go buy another one. So, this particular primer requires uh, one hardener for one quart, and we're not going to use a whole quart because we're just priming that little section that we got, so I'm going to put half of that in. And then what I like to do with this type of primer, I like to add 20% acetone to thin it down. Because what that does, that makes our primer flow out real good. Does it, it give you a longer uh, no. time? So we're going to add 20% acetone. And on this particular product, that's what you want to uh, thin it with. You don't want to use urethane or lacquer thinner. Will urethane. it shorten your time? No, it doesn't. No. It doesn't do anything. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and mix up a half a quart. And you can basically see how thick this primer is. All right, this stuff is super, super thick. And it's designed as a filler slash polyester non-shrinkable primer on extreme usage, such as our old fiberglass. So we're going to mix this up. Now once again, once I have started mixing this, 
and I stop stirring, you got a 30 minute pot life and that's where our spray gun comes in. So if you're not used to doing this, you might ought to have a timer. You might ought to have a timer or have a clock sitting in front of you or something. We're going to go ahead and pour this in. We're not going to use a cup on uh, a strainer on this because it's so thick it won't go through the strainer. And we are now ready to put this on there. One more thing, if you're going to do a whole car, I would suggest to do one quart at a time. Mix up one quart at a time. Once you get done spraying that quart, clean your spray gun out thoroughly. Mix your other quart up and repeat the process. Clean in between each one. Because what's going to happen is you got one quart that you mixed and you already sprayed, yet on the other hand you got a new one. So that old primer that you already sprayed, it's already going to start hardening up. Right, right. So this stuff here, that's why we're using this gun, the $20. Throw away. Yes. Let's go in there, we're going to see how it sprays. Something's wrong, the gun doesn't seem to be spraying properly. So, a couple of things. Maybe it wasn't cleaned out completely and there's something stuck inside the nozzle, the tip. So, uh, obviously, we didn't clean the gun out properly or something. So, what I got, I always buy two of these when I'm doing a big job. And we have another one right here. And as you know, the clock is still ticking. That's why he's being in a hurry, because he's got to get this out of there before it... I don't know what happened, but that's why you're getting this gun. Do you see? Can you turn the microphone around, please? Now you see why you're going to use the Centro Pneumatic uh, low-volume, low-pressure spray gun versus your spray gun, because I think it's already clogged. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this gun off. We don't have time, see? The gun's ruined. It's already trash. We're going to go ahead and put our new gun back on it, just like this. Because if he stopped to take time to clean that, the stuff would harden up it's before already he hardening. got it. It's already hardening. You're already hardening it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my volume. I'm going to go ahead and open up my pattern because we're going to adjust it here. And let's get in there with our $20 throwaway gun and see how it works. Keep your fingers crossed. So now you see why it's essential to have that throwaway gun. What a difference that makes. Now, like he said, he's got 55 pounds of pressure, and he's got the nozzle opened up all the way, and he is controlling it by the little button on the front so that he can adjust his pattern big or little.
essential for jobs like this. And, and also remember, buy that second gun just in case you have that problem where you don't clean it out quite good enough. That way you're not screwed in the middle of your job. And you can always return it if you don't use it. So what you would normally do, and I'm not going to do it, um, you can take your time, completely dismantle it, tear it apart, clean it up, but that's what this gun is good for, all right? And right now, to me, that's what the gun's good for, because this is a production shop. I don't have time to clean a $20 spray gun, but if you're looking for a gun that you can spray super high, super thick filler primer, this is not a slick sand product, this is not a spray on Bondo. This is a super thick primer. And once again, you can spray, all right, you can spray spray on Bondo, such as Slick Sand, or uh, there's another product by you, Paul, called Reface. This is the gun I always use. Remember that product? $20 at Harbor Freight. That's what this gun's made for. This is a product that you might want to keep in mind the next time you have some type of custom paint job that you need a very thick primer on that requires this type of a hardener. Super fast. All right, and dries very fast. Okay, if I'm not doing it right, I definitely aren't doing it at all. I'm sorry, ain't doing it at all. I'm not in Arkansas. Right there, $20, perfect situation. I'm not mad. I didn't use my expensive spray gun. And it's over. We'll see you later. Take it easy. I hope this video helped you. Central Pneumatic, 33 ounce, low volume, low pressure spray gun designed specifically for this application right here.